Hello, everybody. How are you doing? It's Latina J, BBW, Bad Bitches Word. Okay, so, um, I don't know. I'm just going to do it this way. Yeah, this way. What I wanted to talk about, basically, was um, sometimes you can f just let God handle some situations that you may have wanted to basically kill somebody like your ex like my ex okay and he wasn't worth it of course because he was such a cheater he would hit me i would hit him back he was an abuser he would be like you know just like the biggest bully and with me it didn't work because i always i'm a fighter i would fight back but I had children, you know, which is not good. So, of course, children see that. They get scared. It impacts them. And then before you know it, children try to get into the fight and defend their mother. And that's where mother sees red because no, nobody. But anyways, so, and this wasn't, I've, I have had so many abusive relationships that I had given up on relationships. By the time I met my husband, I didn't want to have any type of relationship with a man um at all because i had been burned so bad and i was like forget it so i had this guy and he would just do me so dirty and totally come over to the house smelling like pussy another lady's pussy okay another lady's pussy Literally, I'd kiss her and could taste her fucking pussy in my mouth, okay? And smell it. And he would deny and all this kind of stuff. So we'd get into a fight, this and that, whatever. This guy would play me dirty all the time and would happen around rent time. So he'd have to, he, he would skip out on me. You know what I mean? And he would just do all these fucked up things to me. And so, and at that time I was with with Nick, you know what I mean? So I was like, motherfucker, you're not gonna fuck with me like that. So one day I just got into my car and I left. And I left him back in 2008. I didn't meet my husband till 2009, you know? But um, when I left him, I was like, shh, gone. I used to live at that time, West Palm Beach, Florida. From West Palm Beach, I moved in with my girl, Diana. She's like a sister to me. And uh, I moved in with her, with my son, Nick. And 2009, I met Polly, which is my husband. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I think it was like before we got married, he like had texted me something on Facebook and I had just seen it. like, And I was like, hmm, I'm wondering, should I text him back and be like, well, am I the one that you never got over or something like that? And I was like, you know what? Who cares about him? Like... Who cares about if he got never got over me or whatever? Like, it doesn't even matter. Because I'm thinking to myself, now I have a husband. Now I have a man that loves me, that doesn't hit me, doesn't really, you know, doesn't even raise his voice to me. He's so, like, chill, you know what I mean? And I'm like, bah, 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 because I've got my Latina attitude. I'm like, you know? Especially if I have my period or if I'm hungry. If I'm hungry, and you don't feed me, it's not a good combination. <laughs> But anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that all those times, like, but I had not had, a, had had closure because he hurt me, okay, because I was in love. Yeah, I was. Or at least I thought I was, right? Because, you know, you think I was an angel? No, I was still sleeping with my baby's father and him and whatever, because like I said, I was like, I was getting, you know, just like these fuckers were like, both of them was hitting on me and I was hitting on them. So, you know, cops was called to the house all the time. HRS would get involved and stuff because fights and people would call. It was just <sighs> madhouse. Insane in the fucking membrane. That's why when I met my husband, sometimes I'm still like, what? You know, I'm not, but anyways, uh, I just wanted to let you know that you do get closure, ladies. You get closure. And the closure part is that you move on. That you find strength within yourself and you ask God, get me out of here with my kids. I've been to ladies' shelters 
battered women's shelters with my son, Nicholas, ever since he was four months old, okay? And until Nick was... Mm, how old was Nick? Maybe two. Maybe two. Maybe two years old. We were in shelters, you know, and didn't have a car and all that kind of stuff. I went through all of that because I was not going to put up with a man's shit. <laughs> Because I'm like, fuck you. You're going to hit me, motherfuckers. You're going to abuse me and let my son see all this violence and everything. Like, I made it without you. I'm not with their father. And fuck you. You know what I mean? So you do get closure if you move on. And you just lay it on God's hands and say, you know what? I can't do this. Say, Jesus, just please turn my heart and just please, you have to get me out of this, get my kids out of it. And let me tell you, the, go the Lord will open doors for you. You know what I mean? Put your faith in the Lord, especially those babies. Those babies are truly impacted of that. Listen, my son, Nick, had to go through therapy, okay? He was young. And he had to go to therapy. So, you know what I mean? Um... It does impact the children, okay? It impacts them really badly because mommy and daddy are supposed to get together. Mommy and daddy aren't supposed to fight it. Da, 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 da. And that's the way it is in their head, you know what I mean? So, um, just letting you ladies know that I had been there more than the first time I got hit was when I was. 20, 22, when I had my first son. It was by a Cuban guy, right? And this is what he taught me. And I was like, no, we can still be together. Because I, I was like, what the fuck? We, we were having a fight, okay? And it was a stupid fight. And my son was there. My son was five months old. Daniel, my oldest son. And he was on the bed. And... I just said something insulting. Yeah, I was cocky. I was young, you know. And I was like, you weren't that good at bed anyways, you know. And he was like an older guy, so he was trying to, like, impress me, whatever. Which he was, but I was just trying to just fuck with him because, you know, whatever. So, anyways, he come around out of the fucking bathroom with open hand. <sighs> fucking smack me, yo. I'll never forget that fucking day, yo. I was like, what? I was shocked. And back then I didn't fight back because I was like, oh, what the fuck? And he, and I was like, no, we, and he's, and he, and he was like, look, we have to, like, you know, we have to stop seeing each other, like this and that, whatever. I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, okay. I, he was 20, he was 36. I was 22. Okay. He wasn't that much. But yeah, he was 36. I was 22. And he was like, you know, we can't see each other anymore because I hit you. I already crossed the line. And I didn't want to do that with you. And I was like, well, it doesn't matter. You know, you won't do it again. He says, no. Uh, he says, I've disrespected you. I've disrespected you. So, he, and this is what he told me, yo. He's like, I'm going to tell you something. If a man ever hits you or lays a hands on you or pushes you or shoves, does anything violent to you, he says, if there's no respect in a relationship, there's nothing. And he's teaching me this. And I'm thinking, and I'm so like stupid and green and bleep. I'm like, oh, you know, like we can make it happen. Like the best sex, like the best blowjob. No, 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 no. He was right. If there's no respect in a relationship, like if there's no respect, there's no trust. And the minute that they go, or they go, you know what I mean? Even if you put your hands on them, the best thing, look at what my husband does, because I'm crazy, okay? I'm bipolar, schizophrenic. I go, psycho. He just fucking goes home. He, he leaves. And people say that you can't leave. He leaves. He's like, okay, fine. I'll leave. And then the next day or later that evening, um, we're texting each other and we're good and whatever. But at the heat of the moment, he's like, bye, you know, and he gets, 
gets on the bus and he goes. And so the closure part is not letting those disgusting mama boys because it's their mothers that raised them to be that way that oh you can do no wrong you don't have to do anything the ladies are supposed to take care of you and you shouldn't have to even wash a plate for people fuck that See what I mean? So don't feel, oh my God, I have to be there. And no, you know what? Your children actually end up respecting you and saying thank you. And they grow up and they realize that um, that was the best that you could do. Love them first. Put everything in God's hands. God, God, Holy Father, okay? Yes, um, I am a child of God. We are children of God, okay? So we should all strengthen each other. But... Um, you do get closure. I got a closure from my ex. I met somebody much better that actually loves me, that loved my child, Nicholas, as it was his. And my other son, Daniel, he loves him like, a, you know, the same thing. He's just, he doesn't have any kids. But with my kids, he he's a father, the father figure that I've had for him, for them, and still do. And my son... And him have a great relationship. And my youngest son, my late son, Nicholas, the one that's in heaven, you all already know that he wanted me to marry Polly. So, you know, anyways, you do get closure. So put your faith first before in God before you put it into a man, okay?
Because men will always let you down. God will never let you down. God bless you. Okay? God bless you. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay? Latina J, BBW, bad bitches word. I say bitches, okay? Because we are ladies. We are ladies, honey, okay? All the time, ladies. So, as ladies, we must also put ourselves first and say, you know what? I deserve to go buy me a little makeup. I deserve to get my nails done. You know what I mean? Um, whatever, and go and do it. You know what I mean? So, um, everybody can't always come before us. We also at uh, sometimes have to say, you know what? It's a little bit of spoil me and just giving me something to say, hey, you know what? It was, it was great. I loved it. And uh, I'll try something new next time, like going shopping or going school scuba diving i want to go scuba diving i would love to see the bottom of the ocean but i mean like real scuba like i've been with you know i'm talking like really like shh wouldn't you love that just to go see like the, the reefs and the fish and the sharks and the whales the dolphins like imagine the ocean i love the ocean the ocean with me is like i'm one anyways guys love you ciao